this session we will cover creating data bands. For this existing uh, profile, we only see the one data band, uh, which has the existing ground, finished ground, and then the station. All right, let's see how we can add other data bands. Let me select on that. Uh, profile view properties. And here we have various tabs, information tab, stations tab. Remember we, uh, we created our own profile view, stations tab, elevations tab. At the bands tab, we can edit or add more bands. Currently we only have one band, this one and it has the style of elevations and stations. So we have these elevations and these stations. Let's add another, another, another band. Let's add one with vertical geometry. Let's add that. Um, let's apply. You see the band has been added, but it looks uh, a bit jumbled. Uh, we'll take care of that very soon. Let's click on the profile view, right click, profile view style. Click on the profile, profile view properties. Move to the right in this data, data band. And the profile which should be represented is the finished ground design profile when you're looking at the vertical geometry. You're, interest, you're interested with the finished ground, not the existing ground. The existing ground is the one that looks like this. Goes up, comes down. Okay, it's unfinished but we want to sample the finished ground. So here are the profiles. I change from the, exi the topo surface to the finished ground design profile. And also this gap here is here because we have a gap here at the gap. I click on zero to remove the gap. And then I apply and I click OK. And now it's showing us very well how the finished ground is sloping, sloping like this as a tangent, and then comes a curve at some point, and then slopes again downwards, curves, slopes, and then curves, and then slopes all the way to the end. All right. And here on the left, we need to see the title band box. The reason why we, we cannot see it is because it has been turned off. Let's see how to turn it on. Let's click on the uh, profile view. Go to profile view properties. Here at the style, we click on the style and we edit this style. Or you can pull down the arrow and edit current selection. And here at the display tab, the band title box is off. Turn it on. Then also the band title text is off. We turn it on. Then we apply. Click OK. OK. We also do the same for the band title box of this uh, second band. We apply and then we have a look at what's going on. Okay, they are of different sizes. We want these sizes to match. Okay, another way of going back to where we've come from, that editor is by selecting one of the labels, right clicking and going to edit band style. The text box is 50 millimeters. Let's increase it to 60. See whether it matches the one down there. It doesn't match. Let's change it to 70. 
and there go it matches okay let's add another band the final band right click profile view properties we we'll go to the band um, tab and then we select horizontal geometry we pick on geometry we add it there and we remove the gap put it to zero and we click apply and there you go okay and that's how you create uh data bands here are the profile data these two values are the same only that one is in three decimal points and the other one is in two decimal points how do we change that we change it the way we also change the the profile we change this uh, value to profile two okay so i select again and i go to profile view properties and here i change profile two to finish ground design profile and I apply click ok and now it changes to different values as you can see they're now different values because you see this is higher one is downward therefore they're different values